Hey everybody, this is Garrett Sharp. Um, I'm out with my friend Keegan looking for marble salamanders who start migrating out of the uplands to their temporary pool breeding grounds um, in the late summer, early fall. So they're just starting out this month in September and will keep migrating into October um, and maybe even November in some cases, um, basically heading down to lay their eggs before the pools form. Um, these guys are really beautiful mole salamanders that live underground most of the year. And so this time when they're migrating is really the only time that you really have a chance to see them um, reliably is on rainy days in the fall. Um, so yeah, these guys lay their eggs in um, under debris near where the temporary pool they breed in is going to form um, once the fall rains come in and the winter rains fill the pools up um, and then the eggs automatically start hatching once they get wet from that water that then rises over them um, and then you have some babies getting ready to grow up in those pools that because they're temporary don't have any fish in them and that allows them to avoid predators and so unfortunately the problem with the temporary pool is it's temporary and so that those guys are going to have to grow up avoiding um, potential frog and salamander predators in the pool because those guys can get into the pool to eat them. Um, also while their pool is drying up during the spring and summer from the heat um, and so they're literally living in a nursery where other toddlers are trying to kill them and where the nursery is falling apart around them but if they make it out they um, metamorph into these adults and then migrate up land and go underground for most of the year before they too come up to breed in the same pools. Very important, they, they tend to breed in the same place they were born and so it is very important that we leave their places alone, don't develop them, don't deforest that area because if you do, um, if you destroy the upland, you destroy the adult population, if you destroy the pools um, they no longer have a place to breed and won't know what to do and then you'll lose the upland population because you got rid of their breeding ground. Um, so hopefully that's some fun information. Um, this is Garrett and Keegan. Um, happy hiking, happy adventure.